How's it going guys? I'm going to show you today how to reset a brake pad warning light on a BMW E46, E39, E38, E53, Z3, and probably a bunch more. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so we're going to do this on an E53. And this has the low cluster. Low cluster has a little window here. It's the same on the ones with the higher low cluster. You're going to turn the key to the second position where everything's lit up and the heater motor blower is blowing if you got it on. And you see over here the brake pad warning sign. Now we're just going to wait and that should go out here very shortly. Now there is two different bypasses for it. Um, if you don't want to do the new sensor or your plug is totally rotten, you can clip the sensor, twist the wires together, heat shrink it together, whatever you want to do. That'll turn it off. There is a sensor on the front driver and the passenger rear. There it just went out. And now, there you go. There's the reset. Okay, so like I was saying, um, there is a, obviously a replacement's the best way to go about it. To replace that, they're about 10 or $11. Has some China ones here. They won't turn the light off. So uh, the plug, very bad. The one that where it plugs into the chassis, uh, it was no longer usable. So I snipped it off and you could actually twist the wires together. Like I just said, make sure you have them secured. And let me go ahead and show you here a little trick. This thing, you could actually pull the wires up here. So you could actually just reach in there, turn the wheel, reach in there, verify you had the black plug. You can clip it and you can push the wires up here. Then you can solder them together and they can stay up here out of the way, nice and safe. If you want to do that, do that. If you want to replace it, replace it. I'm not going to judge you either way. That's the two different options you have. That is it, guys. Well, you guys have a good day. Hope this helps some of you out. Thanks for watching.